attendance at this graduation ceremony for the Faculty of Business and Economics. The official proceedings will begin shortly and in a moment the graduands will enter the auditorium and I shall invite you to stand. They'll be followed by the academic staff and then by the official party. And as the official party enters, we invite you to join the singing of the traditional graduation song, Gare Amos. If you're carrying a cell phone, please ensure now it's either turned off or made silent. And whilst you're welcome to take photos, please move back to your seat immediately after taking them, and please do not stand in the aisles. At the end of the ceremony, the Chancellor will invite the gathering to sing God Defend New Zealand. Please then remain standing following the end of the anthem as the processions leave the auditorium. And once the last graduates have left, you will also be invited to leave. Would you now please all stand? <laughs>
In our mana, in our reo, in our hoi fa, tenakoto, tenakoto, tenakoto katoa. Vice Chancellor, Pro Chancellor, Council members, members of the university, special guests, graduands, families, and friends, I extend a warm welcome to this, the ninth autumn graduation ceremony for 2011 of the University of Auckland. This week the University is bestowing a total of 6,579 qualifications on 6,051 students. At this ceremony degrees will be conferred and diplomas awarded in the Faculty of Business and Economics. A total of 495 in person plus a further 187 in absentia. It is my great privilege as Chancellor to preside at autumn graduation for a third year. The scale and frequency of graduation ceremonies makes them no less special for the university and me personally than for those of you being capped here today, many for the first time. Graduation is a festive event, rich in history, pomp and color with a lively array of contemporary touches. Here in Auckland, our rich mix of cultures and ethnicities is evident in the striking variety of dress and adornments worn by the graduands. Today is one of hard-earned celebration by you, the graduands and diplomates on your academic accomplishments and by your family and friends who have encouraged and supported you through your studies and are here to rejoice in your success. The university, represented by the council and academic staff members seated behind me, and those many staff who control proceedings with remarkable precision, takes equal pleasure at this hugely significant day for each and every one of you. The University of Auckland is the only New Zealand university ranked in the top 1% of the world's universities. Your qualifications will always serve you well in New Zealand and abroad, whether in equipping you for a satisfying career or in leading to more advanced study or simply as a route to personal and intellectual enrichment. <coughs> in today's fast changing world, more than ever, you cannot afford to stop learning. So please keep in mind the enormous range of postgraduate opportunities which this university offers. Whatever path you follow, I urge you as alumni of New Zealand's leading university always to remember your alma mater. We depend increasingly on our graduates for support, moral and political, as well as financial. Your advocacy and influence are vital in encouraging government and the community at large to fund universities so they can generate the knowledge needed to drive a productive and competitive economy and to create a full and satisfying life for New Zealanders. At the same time, philanthropy has become critically important to our university, funding major capital projects, scholarships, and professorial chairs. The crucial contribution of major research universities such as ours is not well understood. Our innovative research is vital for long-term sustainable economic growth and social cohesion, never more so than in the difficult economic times New Zealand now faces in the wake of the recession 
and two Christchurch earthquakes. Universities equip graduates like you not simply for the jobs of today, but for future careers not yet imagined. Universities need greater investment by government, the commercial sector, and private philanthropy, not less. But that's sufficient for me on the challenges facing academia. For today, unquestionably belongs to you, the graduands, and you are its primary focus. I congratulate you and trust that you will long cherish the enjoyment and excitement of your graduation in May 2011. Our speaker this afternoon is Mr. Rick Fowler, who is Chief Executive and Managing Director of Medfin Limited. Medfin is a major company manufacturing bathroom, kitchen, laundry, and other water delivery products. In 2001, Mr. Fowler led key management team members in the management buyout of the Medfin business. He also led the subsequent initial public offering of Methvin, which was listed on the New Zealand Stock Exchange in 2004. The company now has operations in Australia, China, Dubai and Britain. Before joining Methvin as Chief Financial Officer in 1996, Mr. Fowler had financial management roles with McKechnie PLC's New Zealand Group companies and Ernst & Young. He is a member of the Better by Design Advisory Board, New Zealand Trade and Enterprises Initiative to create internationally competitive design-led businesses. He is also an advisory board member of our business school and a trustee of Youthline Auckland. Please welcome Mr. Rick Fowler. Ko Taranaki te maunga, ko Waitautara te awa, ko Ngaruru te iwi, te hei Bauriora. My mountain salutes your mountain, my river greets your rivers, and my people acknowledge your ancestors. Chancellor, Vice-Chancellor, members of the council, members of the university, graduates, families and friends. It's really wonderful to be part of your day today, to join in your celebrations. The long hours and hard work that you've put in has all been worthwhile. Today is also about acknowledging and thanking those that have been instrumental in your success, your tutors, friends, and particularly your families. I want to share with you today the story of two people. Two people who triumphed over adversity, sacrificing much so that their children would succeed. They came from two different cultures. They were raised in two different countries with belief systems and both had English as a second language. On the face of it, they had nothing in common. Yet curiously, they shared a belief in the power of learning and knowledge as the key to survival and success in the modern world. Rihi, she was born in a multi centric world in 1927 in the back blocks of the Waitotra Valley, two hours north of Whanganui. As the eldest child, Rihi was taken from her birth, birth parents, as was custom, and raised by her nanny Pani the matriarch of the family. Nanny Pani's house had dirt floors and punga walls. It was a quiet life. Nanny cooked for her and handmade all her clothes, including her underwear, which was sewn out of flour sacks. When Rihi was six years old, she proudly went to school in her handmade clothes. For the first time in her sheltered life, she was hit by an adult for speaking Māori in class, so she had to learn to speak English fast. By the time Rihi was 10 years old, she was bilingual, but it was decided by the family elders that she quit school to work as a land girl on the farm. When she turned 16, 
Ruhi met her seven brothers and sisters for the first time at her birth mother's funeral. On the last day of that funeral, Ruhi and her brothers and sisters, aged from six months to 16 years, were placed in the middle of the marae and all the people present were told to take whichever child they wanted. Rihi and her younger sister were taken in and stayed with several extended family members where they were treated like house slaves. This continued until as a young adult, Rihi moved to Wanganui where she got a job in a sewing factory. And it was at the age of 25 years old that she met a foreigner and his name was Rex. Now Rex, he was born in Samoa. And thanks to the hard work of his dad in the, on the Pluck family plantation, he was sent to the English-speaking school in Apia. On weekends, he would return home and speak English to his mother and get beaten for it. As he grew older, the family agreed that Rex be sent to study and become a church minister. However, he was expelled from theology school after an attempted elopement with the teacher's daughter. After several other failed initiatives, Rex decided to try New Zealand. And in those days, the application included health checks, English language checks, and you had to have proof of a New Zealand address. Each day, the Samoan radio would read out the names of the successful immigrants. And Rex could hardly believe it when his name finally came out. But how could he afford the passage to New Zealand? His village rallied around and raised the money for his fare to Auckland. And so at last he was on his way to the land of milk and honey. When Rex arrived at the Auckland Wharf, he had confidently thought that the address of his friend in Wanganui was like Samoa, just down the road. But luckily for him, a good Samaritan paid for his travel to Wanganui. Rex quickly got a job with the railway department as a labourer. This was a job he was to stay with until his retirement. And it was in Wanganui that he met and married Rihi. They had four very brown, fuzzy-haired children, and they wanted more for them than the life that they had experienced. They both believed in the transformative nature of education, telling their kids, without an education, you'll be a no-hoper. Their children were encouraged to read and often chores could be escaped as long as you could prove that you were doing your homework. Rex and Rahi did not see barriers of class, ethnicity, occupation, or language as deterrents to success in the modern society. With their modest combined income and Rex cashing in his railway superannuation scheme, they invested in their children, sending them to private schools, teacher training college and other tertiary institutions, pushing them, pushing them to take advantage of their education. They gloried in their children's scholastic and business successes and felt vindicated that the path they had taken so long ago was the right one. These were my parents. Today we celebrate the success of not only your graduation, but also the hard work and loving sacrifices made by your families to get you to this point in time. It's all up to you now, graduate. Achieve your full potential and let your successes become the living tribute to the sacrifices of your family. It's your turn now. Kahuri. Thank you, Mr. Fala, and particularly for um, reminding us and the graduates just how it is that the 460, I think it is, we've got here today come to be in front of us. Thank you again. This is a meeting of council and convocation of the university for a ceremony of conferring degrees and awarding diplomas. At this ceremony, the Pro-Chancellor Ian Parton and I will be conferring degrees and awarding diplomas. I now invite the Pro-Chancellor to award the diplomas and confer the degrees in the first half of this ceremony.
Thank you, Chancellor. By the authority vested in me by resolution of Auckland Council, Auckland, sorry, of the University of Auckland Council, I, Ian Parton Pro Chancellor, confer the degrees and award the diplomas dated upon those who, within their faculty, have satisfied the requirements of this university. I call upon the Dean of the Faculty of Business and Economics, Professor Whitred, to present graduands in that faculty. Pro Chancellor, as Dean, I have the honour of presenting to you the students qualified for the award of a diploma or conferment of a degree in the Faculty of Business and Economics. Diploma in Business and Industrial Administration. Richard Charles Osborne. Yeah. Richard is apparently not with us. Graduate Diploma in Commerce. Elena Bain Cianu. Nicholas Andrew Brown. <laughs> Nan Yuk Chan. <laughs> Mandy Lai Man Choi. <laughs> Dang Nok Hung. <laughs> Jason Arthur Dobney. Amanda Joan Davy, Henry Matthew Davies, Fariba Haq, Elena Kalinina, Sila Kyo. Dan Ping Lai, <laughs> Katie Lai, <laughs> Kylie Mei Jun Lu, <laughs> Huan Lin, <laughs> Ka Lai Carrie Lo. Nikul Vinod Data Masi. <laughs> Catherine Robin McCarthy. <laughs> Zahida Yunus Musa. <laughs> Tian Wei Timothy Pam. <laughs> Anand Nayan Patel. Leanne Manon Peterson. <laughs> Ursula Francis Plowman. <laughs> Lawrence Lalish Prakash. <laughs> Yasmita Yez, Yez, Vantana Prasad. <laughs> Rina Venita Ramji. Yasmin Saini. <laughs> Akshata Sonal Singh. <laughs> Laura Jane Sutherland. <laughs> Kurt Michael Carl Tahir. <laughs> Kate Rebecca Weir. Robert James Wilson. <laughs> Jing Jing Jung. <laughs> Ch 
for the posthumous awarding of a graduate diploma in commerce, Patricia Valenzuela Ufrazio. We invite Patricia's mother to receive the degree. to the degree of Bachelor of Business and Information Management, Alexander Yurevich Babukin. <laughs> Rebecca Joan Hornibrook Barlow. <laughs> Shazleen Begum. <laughs> Jia Chi Chen. Jack Loi Chin Chung. <laughs> Benjamin Chu. <laughs> Yi Sang Chung. <laughs> Calvin Bryce Culverwell. <laughs> Ratishka Dawson. Sarah Louise Duncan. <laughs> Joseph Manuel Berterman Felizardo. <laughs> Depo Pom Goswami. <laughs> Kate Alexandra Galloway Graham. <laughs> Michelle Jane Hayes. Elizabeth Rose Henty. <laughs> Thomas William Hewlett. <laughs> Tasneen Taimina Hussein. <laughs> Carolyn Mary Igrisan. <laughs> Jing Jiang. Francis Patrick Christopher Killerly. <laughs> Amy Lee. <laughs> Jinfua Lo Yang. <laughs> Chloe Gemma Lomas. <laughs> Fan Lo. Sneha Shrikant Mahajan. Swastika Sanjogita Maharaj. Samantha Ann Merkel. Kanik Mongia. Jenna Michelle Morris. Kimberly Rose Nelson. <laughs> Joanne Faith North, Senior Scholar in Information Management. <laughs> Apita Atul Patel. <laughs> Roshni Patel. <laughs> Amrita Prasad. Brendan Alexander Ralph. <laughs> Ashleen Ramona Ram. 
and Nika Rani. <laughs> Jeremy Paul Rothra. <laughs> Sean Sampaio. <laughs> Maliha Yusuf Sani. Shunak Sakar. <laughs> Suvina Sonarain. <laughs> Rahul Ravideep Singh. <laughs> Depisha Ben Umaria. Tam Van Vo. <laughs> Sweta Wadwa. <laughs> Leighton Thomas Wilson. <laughs> Stephen Wong. Elsie <laughs> Zafra Yu. To the degree of Bachelor of Commerce, Daryl Siona Salta Tamaka Sakao Akizi. Okay. Uh, my apologies, Farah Afridi. My second chance. Daryl Siona Salta Tamaka Sakao Akizi. Victor Don Zaragoza Alagado. <laughs> Vakaslav Alexicic. <laughs> Benazir Shazia Ali. <laughs> Amy Rose Anderson. Maxwell Emrys Andrews. <laughs> Nicholas Jeffrey Andrews. <laughs> Jean Louise Anstead. <laughs> Stephanie Katrina Apps, and a graduate diploma in commerce. Natasha Kamani Arul. <laughs> Ilasani Moziana Atiola. <laughs> po Lam Ao. <laughs> Christopher Charles Edward Baker. David Kenneth Baker. <laughs> Kaushik Sunda Balan. <laughs> Jessica Lee Farrar Barton. <laughs> Troy Clive Basham. <laughs> Erica Hannah Beaven. Ian Michael Robert Beisner. <laughs> Jane Belfazar. <laughs> Minal Ravindra Bicker. <laughs> Anushi Nicole Bigwood. Richard Morgan Blair, and a graduate diploma in commerce. <laughs> Sean Kathleen Bovel. <laughs> Suzanne Francis Emma Bowerman. <laughs> Le
Lee Yun Shu Brett. Angela Jane Bromwich. Rory Paul Bunker, Senior Scholar in Economics. Lydia Eleanor Joy Burnett. Bai Hao Sai. Ling Ling Sao. Aiden Sai Louis Carroll. Hannah Francis Caston. Zi Heng Sen. Lynn Melicia Chamberlain. Elsa Ho Ming Chan. Kelly Kai Lai, Ka Lai Chan. Mei Yi Koi Chan. Anushelta Shivani Chand, and a graduate diploma in commerce. Crystal Lungfung Chang, and a graduate diploma in commerce. <laughs> Li Yu Chang. <laughs> Hui Di Chen. <laughs> Jing Xin Chen. Jonathan Po Suan Chen, and a graduate diploma in commerce. <laughs> Li Jai Chen. <laughs> Pin Lin Chen. <laughs> Tao Rui Chen. <laughs> Xia Chen. Yan Shan Chen. <laughs> Yi Chao Chen. <laughs> Yun Lam Chen. <laughs> Ritesh Raman Cheetah. <laughs> Lok Fai Chim. Brendan Christopher Archie Chin. <laughs> Myung Hee Choi. <laughs> Cindy Chong. <laughs> Colin Chi Lung Chu. <laughs> Gary. Sung Chet Chua. <laughs> Chua Hui Hen, Grace. <laughs> Jericho Johnston Cleary. <laughs> Darren Jason Coma. <laughs> Sonia Kate Eleanor Corbett. Charlene Sarita Correa. <laughs> Jaina Ashok Daya. <laughs> Rohan Pankaj Dalal, a graduate diploma in commerce. <laughs> Esther Ruth Dorbin.
Chao, chao, Deng. <laughs> Patricia Christy Doi, Jojo, Joyo. <laughs> Lisa Do. Lisa is also a graduate diploma in commerce. Ha Lai Claire Doak. <laughs> Yang Dong. <laughs> Warot Don Kasem. <laughs> Amy Marie Dunlop. Shamira Nelly Ikanayaki. <laughs> Sinye Fan. <laughs> Chian Yu Fan. <laughs> Fang Fang. Alexander James Fessenfeld and a graduate diploma in commerce. <laughs> Alex Fenneridis. <laughs> Manik Namal Fernando and a graduate diploma in commerce. <laughs> Sean Robert Judd Ferris and a graduate diploma in commerce. Theodore Rowland, Roland Edward Field. <laughs> Fu Sui Yong. <laughs> Dominic Simon Foote. <laughs> Cameron Mark Fraser, Senior Scholar in Commercial Law. James Daniel Freeman. <laughs> Ji Ting Fu. <laughs> Diana Fu. <laughs> Xin Yao Fu. <laughs> Joy Sui Wing Fung. Wing Yan Fung. Lisa Cherie Gabriel. Vidura Lasanda Bandara Gelpathagi. Wilson Poitson Gunn. Anna Louise Gain and a graduate diploma in commerce. <laughs> Yu Nong Gu. <laughs> Lauren Ann Ghent. <laughs> James Frederick Richard Gibson. Alice Victoria June Gillies. <laughs> Alicia Ann Godenhoe. <laughs> Gabrielle Minchian Go. <laughs> Minthung Go. <laughs> Moi Yu Gu. Amanda Leslie Grace. <laughs> Petar Gramov. <laughs> Aidan Clifton Griffith. <laughs> Rania Atif Guiagui. <laughs> J. 
Jeremy, Jonathan, and David Hellas. <laughs> Panova Hanji, and a graduate diploma in commerce. <laughs> Ezekiel Ijaz Hazrat. <laughs> Mele Kabienga Havia. Ronit Hemraj. <laughs> Min Yong Hyo. <laughs> Wing Hong Ho. <laughs> Ho Wing Yoli. <laughs> Richard Pallister Hobbs. Bruce Thomas Hodenot. <laughs> Samuel Wei Wen Ho. <laughs> Georgina Barbara Hope. <laughs> Lauren Kate Howe. <laughs> Chia Chin Su. Shui Jing Hu, <laughs> Yi Ting Huang, <laughs> Lily He, <laughs> Kirana Intra Rune, <laughs> Ibrahim Ali Issa. Betsy Iberichukwa Iwunzi. <laughs> Anil Jairam and a graduate diploma in commerce. <laughs> Bledon Aled James. <laughs> Zainab Jassat. Loigi Yathindra Nadun Jayamani. Jared Jenkin. Ok Yen Jung. Jing Jia. Yanjia. <laughs> Kan Jiang, and a graduate diploma in commerce. <laughs> Shin Jin. <laughs> Wan Gun Zhou. Priya Kaur Mantrit Joel. <laughs> Holly Johnson. <laughs> Chloe Elizabeth Jones Cure. <laughs> Wu Chio Jung. Sam Edward Juriens Khan. <laughs> to the degree of Bachelor of Commerce Conjoint, Christopher Edward Adlam, and a Bachelor of Arts. <laughs> Shingo Aoyama, and a Bachelor of Science. Jonathan O'Freer Baker and a Bachelor of Property. <laughs> Josephine Mary Catherine Barrett 
and a Bachelor of Arts. Amanda May Bithell and a Bachelor of Science. Rebecca Jane Blandford and a Bachelor of Arts. Kristen Victoria Bouchier and a Bachelor of Arts. Richard Michael Burns and a Bachelor of Science. No Suit Boot and a Bachelor of Arts. Apologies. Uh, to the degree of Bachelor of Commerce conjoint, James Alexander Squiet Carson and a Bachelor of Arts. <laughs> Charlotte Allison Catley and a Bachelor of Science. <laughs> Hannah Wing Yun Chan and a Bachelor of Science. Hui Yan Chan and a Bachelor of Science. <laughs> Tasha Navin Chandra, Bachelor of Arts. <laughs> Raj Rajul Adrian Chowdhury and a Bachelor of Property. <laughs> Ai Li Chen and a Bachelor of Arts. Ruby Yinju Chen and a Bachelor of Arts. <laughs> Chia Yi Cheng and a Bachelor of Arts. <laughs> Yuan Chin Cho, Bachelor of Health Sciences. <laughs> Hai Yun Cho and a Bachelor of Arts. Claire Pixian Cho and a Bachelor of Arts. <laughs> Lisa Chong and a Bachelor of Science. <laughs> Kunal Chauvin and a Bachelor of Property. <laughs> Leonie Grace Collins and a Bachelor of Arts. Tanya Jane Kousel and a Bachelor of Science. C. <laughs> Kui and a Bachelor of Science. <laughs> Ekaterina Velaznilevna Danilova and a Bachelor of Arts. <laughs> Hugh Richard Drinkwater and a Bachelor of Science. Tanya Siona D'Souza and a Bachelor of Arts. Thank you, Pro Chancellor, for conferring the degrees and awarding the diplomas in the first half of this ceremony. One of the great pleasures of graduation is the opportunity to hear performances by students from our acclaimed School of Music. A woodwind quintet will now perform selected movements from Bagatelles for Wind Quintet by Georgie Leggetti.
Some of you may know that um, Stanley Kubrick used uh, some of Georgie Maggetti's music in uh, 2001, A Space Odyssey. And um, if you were listening carefully, you would have heard some of that original, fresh, distinctive sound. Once again, there was beautifully played by a quintet. Can I ask you to show your appreciation again? By the authority vested in me by resolution of the University of Auckland Council, I, Roger France Chancellor, confer the degrees and award the diplomas stated upon those who within their faculty have satisfied the requirements of this university. I now call upon the Deputy Dean of the Faculty of Business and Economics, Professor Wong, to present further graduands in that faculty. to the degree of Bachelor of Commerce Conjoint, Ja Du, and a Bachelor of Arts. <laughs> Alice Lauren Edwards, and a Bachelor of Property. <laughs> Violet Jean Ellis, and a Bachelor of Property. Spencer Anissa and a Bachelor of Science. Gail Isle and a Bachelor of Arts. Chloe Jamie Lillian Fau Asso and a Bachelor of Arts. James Joseph Fisher and a Bachelor of Arts. Christopher Ryan Teaha Von Lo and a Bachelor of Laws. <laughs> Dylan John Ford and a Bachelor of Science. <laughs> Matthew George Jin and a Bachelor of Property. <laughs> Keith Michael Glynn and a Bachelor of Arts. Lauren Samantha Graves and a Bachelor of Science. 
Nicole Patricia Hardy in a Bachelor of Arts. <laughs> Reese Danielle Harrison in a Bachelor of Property. <laughs> Richard Brayton Higgins in a Bachelor of Arts, Rhodes Scholar. Michelle Lee Yan Ho and a Bachelor of Science. <laughs> Jennifer Shin E. Hu and a Bachelor of Arts. <laughs> Stephanie Nancy Tanya Hughes and a Bachelor of Arts. <laughs> Alan He and a Bachelor of Science. Paul Matthew Jameson and a Bachelor of Arts. <laughs> CCG and a Bachelor of Science. <laughs> Paget Robert Johnson and a Bachelor of Arts. <laughs> Michael John Julian and a Bachelor of Arts. Postgraduate Diploma in Business. Jonathan Michael Avery in Administration. <laughs> Alfrey Morgan Bloom in Human Resource Management. <laughs> Oleg Bogon Mesov in Administration. <laughs> Suzanne Helen Benishi in Human Resource Management. Julie Ann Bradley in Marketing. Mandy Jane Brooker in Administration. Samantha Yvonne Brown in Marketing. Bernadette Mary Carpenter in Administration. Vassal Soren Kazvian Mursian in administration. <laughs> Charlie Yu Ning Chan in administration. <laughs> Mike Chaneka in administration. <laughs> Christopher Brian Cox in administration. Guy Oliver Deturitz in Operations Management. <laughs> Mahat Diwan in Administration. <laughs> Sarah Jane Elizabeth Eddington in Administration. <laughs> Kylie Ann Elsom in Marketing. <laughs> Andrea Fairclough in Marketing. Robert Philip Jameson Franklin in administration. <laughs> Carol Francis Fraser in human resource management. <laughs> Shireen Hanvey in human resource management. <laughs> Penelope Jennifer Harris in administration. Te Moana Nuakiwa Jane Hoya Poka in Mary Development. <laughs> Rachel Lynn Hughes in Marketing. <laughs> Shadia Iqbal in Operations Management. <laughs> Andrew John Jankovic in Human Resource Management. John Kim in administration. <laughs> Danielle Kitson in operations management. <laughs> Xiu Hong Li in administration. <laughs> Yan Li in administration. <laughs> Leah Siobhan Marin in administration. 
current Michelle Marsh in administration. <laughs> Stacey Roger McIntosh in administration. <laughs> Sylvina Polo Maro in administration. <laughs> Diane Frith Murphy in marketing. David O'Neill in administration. Yeah, I've got it. I've got it. Okay. I know her. <laughs> Sheena Sugek Pang in administration. <laughs> Ellen, Ellen William Pitty in operations management. Elizabeth Mary Peterson in Operations Management. Frank Sue Po Ching in Administration. Andrea Francis Reed in Marketing. Neil Jeffrey Brian Roper in Administration. Elliot Martin John Royce in Human Resource Management. <laughs> Margaret Russell in Marketing. <laughs> Daniel William Searchfield in Administration. <laughs> Claire Emily Shannon in Human Resource Management. Megan Triona Simons in administration. <laughs> Angela Mary Smith in human resource management. <laughs> Cassandra Lee Smith in administration. <laughs> Ren Ming Song in administration. <laughs> Thomas Francis Ian Speck in administration. Amanda Gail Stevenson in administration. <laughs> Branka Stiaptic in human resource management. <laughs> Caroline Emma Tishbon in human resource management. <laughs> Geisberg Johannes van der Vesthuizen in marketing. Sean Bradley Weber in administration. Bradford Todd Weekly in administration. Kirk Shu in administration. Postgraduate Diploma in Commerce with Merit. Mark Christopher Andrew Chilvers in management. Greer Isabella J. Davis in management. <laughs> Timothy John Malcolm in management. <laughs> Wei O oh in commercial law and a Bachelor of Commerce. <laughs> Postgraduate Diploma in Commerce. Harry Haran, Alan Ballam, Parasuraman in Information Systems. <laughs> Chun Cheng Chang in Information Systems. <laughs> Surjit Singh Dalawal in Commercial Law and a Bachelor of Commerce. <laughs> Sam Samira Ibrahim in Management.
Baramui Fonmanu Thirosingham in Information Systems. <laughs> Bat Mendak Samba in International Business. <laughs> Regina Lucy Way in Management. <laughs> to the degrees of Bachelor of Commerce Honours with First Class Honours. Ashley Rose Ball in Commercial Law. Jason Prakash Nanu Bana in Finance and a Bachelor of Commerce. Martin Jean Boulanger in France, in Finance. Kim Lee Brokenshire in Commercial Law. Julia Elizabeth Brown in Economics. Antonio Stafford Kiliari Pierce in Management. Hao Chen in Economics. Samuel Leslie Christian Clements in Management. Cyan Michelle Coleman in Management. <laughs> Neil Andrew Cribbins in Economics and a Bachelor of Commerce, University Graduate Scholar, Senior Scholar in Economics. <laughs> Elia Davidoff in Information Systems. Dionysius Fabian Joha in Information Systems. Andrew John Hamilton in Economics. Dick Stewart Fortescue in Finance and a Bachelor of Commerce. Jennifer Hui Han Go in Management. Jade Marie Su Yin Han in Information Systems. <laughs> Oliver James Hayden in Marketing. <laughs> Lucy Rose Hallaby in Marketing. <laughs> Shu Wing Ho in Finance, University Graduate Scholar. Robert Gerard Hollier in Marketing. <laughs> Duncan Charles Jessup in Commercial Law. <laughs> Joshua Joe in Marketing. <laughs> Felicity Melina Johnston in International Business. to the degree of Bachelor of Commerce Honours with Second Class Honours, First Division. Meng Yudai in Economics and a Graduate Diploma in Commerce. <laughs> Meredith Penny Noreen Free in Commercial Law and a Bachelor of Commerce. Erin <laughs> Heather Gibson in Commercial Law. Caroline Sheila Giles in Commercial Law. <laughs> Emma Elizabeth Gordon in Management. <laughs> Chelsea Claire Griffin in Management. <laughs> Stephanie Ann Guise in Marketing. <laughs> Tessa Maria Hugevin in Commercial Law and a Bachelor of Commerce. To the degree of Bachelor of Commerce Honours with Second Class Honours, Second Division, Zara Batul in Commercial Law and a Bachelor of Commerce. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Business Administration, Warren James Anglin. <laughs> C. 
Sarah Mary Bate. Mark Andrew Bentley. David Ian Burton. Glendua Christian Davis. Dawn Marie Engelbrecht. Kim Marie Francis. Todd William Grace. Paul John Harrison. Desley Jean Jameson. Connell Glenn Martin. Lyndon Mason. Albert Edward McGee. Trevor Andrew Nash. Richard John Nola. Matthew Ritchie. David Mark Spratt. Avinash Vedgo Onka. Philip John Venables. Ainsley Louise White. To the degree of Master of Commerce with First Class Honours, Mirko Juan Benashinki in International Business. <laughs> Angus Anthony Blair in Management. <laughs> Joshua Wade Burtonshaw in Management. Alexander Goliashov in International Business. <laughs> Sin Lei Wong in International Business. <laughs> Carmen Liu in Economics and a Bachelor of Commerce Honours with Second Class Honours, Second Division in Economics. <laughs> Benicia Nasi in Marketing. Joanne Rose Overall in Management and Employment Relations. Eugene Polkan in Economics. Nicola Jane Russell in Management. Amrita Kaur Singh in Management. Alexander Walker Star in Management and a Bachelor of Commerce Honours with First Class Honours in Management. <laughs> Win Yan Tang in Marketing. <laughs> Xin Zhou Tian in Information Systems. Paul George Tressadun in Accounting. <laughs> Michael Ming Hiem Tis in Economics. <laughs> C. Yuan Wu in Marketing and a Bachelor of Commerce Honours with Second Class Honours, First Division in Marketing. to the degree of Master of Commerce with Second Class Honours, First Division, Jia Xiang Gan in Information Systems. <laughs> Wen Xin Hu in Economics. 
Lean Wong in marketing. <laughs> Jun Ting Lin in economics and a Bachelor of Commerce Honours with second class honours, first division in economics. <laughs> Lee Fan Chen in economics. <laughs> Jessica Ke Yun Wu in accounting. To the degree of Master of Commerce with Second Class Honours, Second Division. Kitty Wood, Fatraya Prayun in Economics. <laughs> Jen Fun Wu in Finance. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Commerce, Miriam Fuma Ono in Management. To the degree of Master of International Business with First Class Honours, Anna Christina Gurk. <laughs> Mete Hiram Lassen. <laughs> Ren Wen. <laughs> to the degree of Master of International Business with Second Class Honours, First Division, Thomas Clark Bailey. <laughs> Sheetaj Gag. <laughs> Jaron Leslie Keeler. <laughs> Michael Alexander Creasy. Lo Xiao Jun. <laughs> Yuan Mark Ma. <laughs> Garrett Evan Webb. <laughs> to the degree of Master of International Business with Second Class Honours, Second Division, Sandy Chu. Olga Lebedinets. <laughs> Sri Ram Ramakant Sebnis. <laughs> to the degree of Master of International Business, Christian Tai Pekaski, and a postgraduate diploma in International Business with Merit. To the degree of Master of Management, Nolene Lois Buckland. <laughs> Thomas Robin Hall Gregg. <laughs> Thomas Pender Hunt. <laughs> March Marjorie Phillips. Gary Tukawakai Paiwiteana Thompson. <laughs> Janice May Walker. <laughs> Craig Norman Watkin. To the degree of Bachelor of Business in Information Management, Sai We Lin. <laughs> and in absentia, all those other persons named in the Book of Convocation qualified for the conferment of a degree or the award of a diploma in the Faculty of Business and Economics.
university places great significance on excellence in teaching, and it recognizes this by making awards each year to teachers who have demonstrated excellence in particular aspects of teaching. These awards are contestable across the university and signify a truly superior achievement. An award for sustained excellence in teaching has been made to Dr. Ross MacDonald in the Department of Management and International Business within the Faculty of Business and Economics. And I now call upon a student of that faculty, Cyan Coleman, to read the citation for Dr. MacDonald. student and current colleague to acknowledge today the outstanding achievement of Dr. Ross MacDonald, recipient of the Sustained Teaching and Excellence Award. Ross MacDonald is an exemplary teacher. He is passionate and wholly committed. Not only is he concerned with the delivery of his often challenging and thought-provoking course content, but he also ensures a novel teaching and learning experience. Students are encouraged to engage in meaningful, critical reflection. They are persuaded to ponder what sort of future they want to create for themselves, and they are challenged to think of ways that they can enact that future. Ross persuades his students to think critically about the world and the systems in place that are often taken for granted. He does this in a manner that subtly balances being both gentle and accepting, whilst also being candid and provocative. Students come out of the other side of his courses being thoroughly challenged with a newfound perspective of the bigger picture. Ross's commitment and passion for education is not only demonstrated here in our own backyard, but he also works very closely with the government of Bhutan in the development of that country's curriculum. Ross joined the university in January 1996. In the 15 years since then, I'm certain of one thing, that he has made a lasting impression on every single one of his students that have been under his instruction. Indeed, a Facebook group was created in his honour over five years ago where students have called Ross inspirational, an absolute legend, and even an undercover superhero. <laughs> there is no doubt that Ross MacDonald is a most deserving recipient of this award. I am certain that colleagues and peers of mine, both past and present, together with all of you today, will join me in congratulating Ross on his commendable achievement. On behalf of the university, I now invite all today's graduates to stand and receive the congratulations of us all. This would be an ideal opportunity for the graduates to show their appreciation of their families and supporters and the staff of the university who have helped them as they achieve their qualifications.
This concludes this meeting of Council and Convocation of the University for the conferment of degrees and the award of diplomas. I now invite you to sing the first verse of God, Defend New Zealand in Māori, and then in English. The words are printed on the reverse of your programs.